It all starts here with this small tracking device. It weighs just 100 grams and monitors the location and speed of each individual bike. Data from the riders is used to create infographics, illustrating everything from finish line positions to crashes. We know exactly where they are, exactly how fast they're going, and so it means we can give the, the television commentators and broadcast all the critical information they need, but then some really interesting insights like, you know, how fast is that guy going down the hill, and watching things like, you know, critical events like, you know, how fast somebody's chasing back, you know, after, after a crash, or, you know, using machine learning to ping when it thinks something exciting is about to happen based on the shape of the peloton. How much information gets collated per day then? We take that little bit of data that we're getting from the sensors and actually we bring that together with all sorts of other information, like the information about the course, the information about weather. We bundle riders into groups and do a whole bunch of calculations based on that. Then we use machine learning to create other information like predictions about whether the breakaway is going to get caught, etc. So it means that that data grows from this little, little piece every second to you know, lots of information every second. And then you know, our team you know, look at how can we tell stories with that data? How can we make the, the broadcast more interesting? How can we you know, create uh, information on the digital channels and social media channels? That, uh, that allow people to understand the race better. The data is also used by the riders themselves. The team cars which follow the race can monitor the data from the bikes and use it to advise the riders. What do you personally like to look at from your own performance when analysing the data? I have a screen with uh, basically the time that we've been riding that helps me know when to eat, um, the distance so I know what's coming up and where, power so I can kind of measure my effort at certain points in the race. And a lot of times you're just following the wheel in front of you, but sometimes you're out on your own and it's useful to see the speed um, and cadence because uh, if, you're, if you get bogged down like later in a Grand Tour when your muscles are beginning to get fatigued, your default becomes a lower cadence where you're just kind of grinding and grinding and it's helpful to save your muscles if you're spinning a higher cadence. So that's the kind of stuff that we're looking at during the stage. And then we upload the file at the end of the stage and the coaches are able to get, get really down in there and analyze everything. A single stage is 200 kilometres in length going for five hours and so data actually has a really powerful ability to help with that storytelling. If you just had the television pictures, you know, it's quite limited in terms of what you can do with that and, and it's difficult to understand what happens in, in the race. And so data really allows people to understand the race properly and to see exactly what's going on. You know, so it really does have a, a huge role to play 